in your health, we're talking about a study that may leave you scratching your head a bit. It comes out of the United Kingdom and it shows that people with type 2 diabetes who are overweight actually tend to live a little bit longer. Joining us to talk about what the study means for diabetics is Dr. Richard Safu. Doctor, thanks so much for being here. Good to see you, Jen. Um, talk to me about this study, first of all, and this seems, in my opinion, a little bit counterintuitive. We do all these stories about how being overweight uh, is not good for your health, especially with type 2 diabetes, which is caused by being overweight. Uh, exactly. You know, um, the, the interesting thing about this study is a study over about 11 year period it involved about um, 11,000 patients and they were able to look at these people and what they found at the end of that period of time is that they, what they thought was that people that were a bit overweight actually seemed to do better with type 2 diabetes and the uh, patient population was either in normal weight or slightly underweight. However, the study was not really a, a well-designed study. We like the prospective, the randomized studies, of course, that stand the test of time. Plus, there are a lot of researchers that have looked at many other studies and found completely opposite results. Now, part of the theory behind this might be that people that are overweight and have diabetes tend to go to a doctor more often, perhaps than someone that's normal or underweight. And so maybe they, those patients were going to see the doctor more often and were getting you know, better control of their diabetes. We also know that we think, many researchers believe, that type 2 diabetes in a normal or an underweight person is a different disease, more aggressive, more brittle, more difficult to uh, treat than someone that develops diabetes secondary to being overweight or obese. And so in that situation, we're looking at different groups of patients. We also note that people that are normal or underweight in, the, in these studies and other studies that have type 2 diabetes also have other comorbid diseases. They're more likely to be uh, people that consume large quantities of alcohol, alcoholism, and also tobacco. So uh, it's not clear. Yeah, Dr. Shafu, they call this, as I was reading some of your notes, the obesity paradox, which in my opinion it perfectly explains what we're talking about here. So if someone goes to you and says, you know, Dr. Shafu, I saw this segment on Fox 5, and I think I have this diabetes, I'm sorry, this obesity paradox, I'm okay being a little bit overweight. What advice are you going to give them? Well, the first advice I'm going to give them is to go to see their primary care physician, whoever is managing their diabetes. And you know, um, actually being obese, uh, if you look at a lot of studies that have come out, Mayo Clinic being one, uh, that actually being overweight is one of the greatest risk, risk factors for type 2 diabetes. So I would say it's a single study that obviously is flawed. There are many other studies, but researchers will tell you and healthcare professionals and certainly physicians will say that you're much better off if you have diabetes uh, to be normal weight or a bit underweight. We do know that when we're overweight, we have an increased incidence of cardiovascular disease and we have an increased incidence of strokes and other uh, CNS diseases. So certainly being overweight tends to increase those complications. We see that, I've seen that myself as, as a surgeon in my own practice. People mm -hmm. that tend to be overweight have problems with healing or wound healing issues. So it's certainly being overweight is something that we always need to be careful about and monitor very closely. Yeah, if anything, maybe this is an example of sometimes we get so many health stories and people can get kind of focused in on saying, well, this one study says that it's okay, Correct. when in reality you're saying, you know what, heed the warning, that's not really the case. Dr. Shafu, thanks so much as always for being here. Sure, Jen. All right, still ahead here on the Fox 5 News.